Okay, guys, so before I get into this tea, I do want to remind everyone that I'm doing a $250 cash app giveaway. The only thing that you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and comment anything down in the comment section below. And on December 24th, which is this Friday, guys, I will be picking a random comment for the $250. Now let's get into this tea with Jazz and So Crystal. yesterday I posted a video titled, Jazz and Crystal may be on the verge of a breakup. Now I'm guessing Jazz saw this video because she went off on me on Twitter. So she says, you weak AT pages trying to put two and two together from my tweets and ish ain't gonna work. 95% of the tweets are song lyrics, literally, which I did say that in the video. Then she also says, stop trying to find my personal life out through this Twitter ish. You won't find out unless I let you in. Then she says, but y'all been knew that I don't do this extra ish on the internet. I come here to entertain and have fun on granny. Now go make a video on that. So you ask, so you shall receive. Now, Crystal also had something to say about this and she says me and jazz are extremely happy i know so because she eats my c word every night put that on video so again they're asking to put it on video so i so will. she did tweet that earlier in the day and then by the evening she had some other things to say so she tweets so irritated then she says it's so important to me that I be with someone who knows how to express themselves. I don't have time to be asking myself what I did to you for you to act like an a-hole 37 times a day. Inward, tell me what's wrong so we can fix it. So then someone else tweets her and says, yeah, that is stressful as hell. Don't nobody want an immature adult-ish kills the vibes. So I don't know, maybe this is not in regards to her relationship because earlier in the day, she just said her and Jazz were fine. Now she's tweeting things like this to make people think that she's speaking on her relationship. But again, maybe she's just speaking on a friendship or something like that. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below because she also retweeted someone that said, y'all claim y'all want something solid, but when it's right in front of you, y'all fold. So I don't know guys. Maybe she's not speaking on her relationship. Maybe she's speaking on a previous relationship. Now, I will say this with the whole Tay situation. We know what happened there. And Tay claiming Jazz was not a good like, communicator. Really, I'm very understanding. All you got to do is talk to me and let me know. Because if you don't let me know, then I'm going to be in my head trying to put two and three together when it, it don't equal eight. Okay? It equals five, okay? So then again, maybe this tweet was not for Jazz. Maybe it's just a coincidence that she's stating things like, you know, it's important to be able to express yourself. Although Tay did say Jazz was not very good at expressing herself and, you know, communicating. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. You guys know Jazz is very private with her relationship. So even if something was going on, they would make it seem like it wasn't. I mean, we have seen her do this before in the past so you know history tends to repeat itself anyways let's get on to this next topic guys with the shay frost and chandler Alexis. now if you guys did not hear the podcast interview that they did with mcqueen now Let's just rewind here. So Deshae Frost and Dub, which is DDG's brother, have a podcast called On A Serious Note. Now they had a guest, which was McQueen, and they brought up Chandler Alexis. Gosh, I hate her, bro. You hate her? I hate Chandler. <laughs> Do you? I hate Chandler. I had to go off on her. I never told anybody. I, know, I remember that. I told you? No. Who told me? Somebody told you? No. Now, this is not all what they stated about her. They stated a lot more. So you guys head over and watch that video. But I'm guessing she actually saw this podcast and she says, I could never be bothered by the opinions of boys who refer to women as B words. Tell the B word who raised you to do better. And then she says, on top of that, being 5'5 five five with a penis makes you just as much of a B word as me just saying to Shay. So guys, I'm guessing she wasn't feeling the comments made by her and the stories that they had on her in this podcast interview. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below, because a lot of people felt that they shouldn't be speaking on a woman in this way. 
let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Ignore the negativity. Girl, I didn't even notice it. <laughs> she tried to bag her so much. You never know who you might run into. Like, this is why I said it's not the best. You see, my hair is still kind of sticking up. If I brush it enough, that will stay down. I gotta be toxic. I am toxic. <laughs>